So I'm going to today. I'm going to show you guys how I actually roast coffee. I'm going to go through my whole process. I'm going to get the little bee more out. I'm going to show you where I place it, um, how I scale it up, and operate the machine. So I'm um, all right. So stay tuned, and um, it's coming up. Thank you. So this is how the coffee comes. I buy it in a 20-pound bag. This particular coffee is from Costa Rica, um, from Sweet Maria's, and Sweet Maria's got a fabulous website that really is, um, if you want to get into coffee roasting, I really recommend checking it out. It's sweetmarias.com, but that's how the coffee comes. It comes a 20 pound, I get a 20 pound bag, and 12 ounces of green coffee will probably yield um, somewhere in the neighborhood of around 10 ounces. So I'm going to go over my coffee roasting procedure here. So this is my stove and on my stove you see I have a sheet tray. And the reason why I do that is because I'm going to rest the bee more on the sheet tray. So let me get the bee more, put it in place. Here's the plug. They don't want you to use an extension cord. And that's the bee more. Okay? Now, if you look above, you see my hood. Now that's a pretty good hood. When we redid the kitchen, um, we bought an upgraded hood. And I would definitely recommend doing that and this hood vents to the outside so if you have a hood that vents to the inside you know with just one of those charcoal filters this is probably not going to work because this produces a lot of smoke so there's my coffee there's my little scale and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the bee more and move this over here so you guys can see and I'm going to hit the court, well, first of all, I'm going to open up the door. I'm going to take the basket out, this I need, put the chafe tray back in, and I started to be more. So now I'm going to warm it up. Now, I got the scale on. I'm going to do 12 ounces of coffee. Too much. You want to be consistent, okay? I throw this up. And now I come back here. And that's at seven minutes. Seven, so now I stop, shut it off. I open this up, take this back out. I load the coffee in. Put this back. Hit the one pound setting, and I go start, and I set my timer for 13 minutes. Okay, and that's kind of important. And now I'm going to turn the fan on. Oh, I have my little buddy over here. There's Albus. I'm going to turn the fan on, because now it's going to start to get smoky. Come to the four, four minute, four minutes and 30 second mark. You see if it's blinking, I hope you can see that. If I don't hit the start button after four minutes, when it gets down to four minutes, it's important that you watch it. That's why I set the timer for 13 minutes because it gives me a little bit of time to get over here. I hang out for around 30 seconds and then once you get down to four minutes and 30 seconds, I hit the start button and then she goes. I'm at two minutes and I put the, the uh, camera back on because right now I'm going into first crack. So I don't know if you could hear it, I shut the fan off and I have some cracking going on in there, which is just what I want. And I have a minute 40 seconds left. I have about 30 seconds left. First crack has, complete, has completely stopped probably around 35 seconds ago. Now you see I have 20 seconds left and then I'm going to hit cool. I put the machine into cool down and I don't know if you could see it, but 
at this point, a lot of smoke comes out of the machine. So I got my hood on, I'm getting rid of all the smoke. The house has a little bit of, um, of a coffee roasting odor, but it's definitely not like smoky. My Done roasting. Taking this out, this is the chafe basket. There's a lot of chafe in here. Taking this out, this is the roasted coffee. And before I, I, um, I empty this out, I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to shake it. And just to give you an idea, you see all that chafe falling off? We want to get as much of this chafe off the coffee that's been roasted that's in this basket before we grind it and drink it. Here. And then that's it. Now we're not going to drink this right away. We're going to drink this tomorrow. We're going to let this, it has to gas out for about 24 hours. So and that's the plan. And that's coffee roasting. Very simple and I would encourage everyone to give it a try. Um, it's easy and it's a, it's, a, it's a great way to elevate your coffee drinking experience. It is a far superior cup of coffee than anything that you can buy in the store. Freshly roast coffee is the way to go. So one of the best things about roasting your own coffee <clears throat> is drinking it. <clears throat> look at that. Nice. Look at that. That's called a mouse tail. <laughs>